this is a quick video demonstration of how to enable snapshot uh, based on a motion uh, device attached to a megapixel camera. What I'm going to do is I have a, um, a door release that is going to be simulating a motion or an open or normally open, normally, normally closed input connected to a IPVC EL 3MP uh, box camera. And what I'm going to simulate is I'm going to uh, make snapshots to uh, go to my FTP server every time that I press this button. So in another word, if, uh, if you have a motion sensor attached to the camera and you want it to, every time that that motion sensor gets active, you want it to take a snapshot of whatever activate the uh, motion detector and upload it to an FTP on a remote site. That's pretty much, it's the, sa it's, it's the same concept. But the only difference is, is I don't have a motion detector, so I will use a, uh, a door release, which is pretty much the same. It's, it's a normally open or normally closed uh, contact. So the wiring is very simple. At this, at this particular uh, door release does not require power. Obviously, it's a door release, so it's just uh, uh, it's a normally, you can configure as normally open or normally closed. You can see here the wiring uh, the way that you're gonna uh, wire this to the camera is on the back of the megapixel camera you have uh, some inputs and basically you have to look for this particular model has a one alarm input and one alarm output so the alarm input is going to be labeled I N or in and then it has a ground a normally open and normally closed or well, I'm sorry, normally open and common, okay? So uh, I'm configuring this particular door release as a uh, normally open. So uh, the normally open wire, as it says here, is the red one. So that is going to go to my in pin or my in connector on my camera. And it says that the white one, which is the common or the ground, is gonna go to the ground of the camera. Okay, then once that's in place, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in uh, and I'm gonna make another video uh, showing you what's gonna happen and what things you have to configure in your uh, in the interface of the camera so you can successfully enable this feature. So the next step will be to configure uh, the camera. I have, as you see, I have three windows right here open. Uh, here is another megapixel camera that I have on the network so you can see every time that I press the button what happened here on this FTP uh, server that I have here re on a remote location. Um, I'm using for FTP, I'm using FileZilla. It's easy to configure. I'm not gonna go in, uh, in depth of how to configure it but uh, this is uh, the way that we do the test and uh, so we can uh, test it remotely or internally on your network. So what you have to do is you have to log in to your camera. Then uh, you're going to go to setup. You're going to go to uh, video and then snapshot. Under snapshot type, you're going to type, you're going to choose uh, the event uh, snapshot type and the quality, obviously the best. Uh, the interval. The interval is going to uh, take in place when you take a snapshot. If you have it at one second, What's going to happen is, uh, while the motion or while the button is pressed, the camera is going to take every second a snapshot. So if you want only one snapshot when the motion gets active and uh, uh, you want uh, less pictures, just increase this to seven seconds. Okay, so uh, just hit save. Then uh, we're going to go to event, alarm. And this is where you configured um, the, basically the motion or, or, or the input that you're going to be plugging in. The, the default is this. I'm, I'm going to jump in here first. Uh, motion detection. There's nothing to do here. Okay. Storage. You're going to go to schedule and then you're going to go to snapshot schedule. This is the default. So what you have to do is because you wanted to base on an alarm, uh, you wanted to uncheck motion and leave alarm and then choose all of the dates and then save, and then save again. The destination, this is very important. 
Um, for the snapshot, we're going to concentrate on this section right here. But if you want, uh, uh, besides uh, an alarm, uh, when motion is detected, you wanted to uh, record, then you can choose uh, this option right here. Uh, or I'm sorry, right here or right here, depending of how you wanted to do it. If you want to just alarm to start recording and dump the files to an FTP, just choose this option and this option. So this option will be for snapshots. This option will be for record. So I'm going to concentrate right now on the snapshot only. I'm going to click alarm under FTP, click save. Under local, you don't have to do anything here. This is for an SD card. This particular camera supports an FD card. And this is the FTP section of uh, the, the, the camera itself. Um, I already put the information of my FTP here on this side. This is my FTP remotely. So uh, the port normally uh, on an FTP is 21 unless you specify something different. Uh, the username and password uh, with uh, associated with this FTP, and this is the remote path. The remote path is just is going to be created by the user you're assigning here. So on your FTP, if you have that particular user, um, is going to create a folder. You set, you set this particular user with a folder where it's going to be dumping all of the files. So again, I'm not going to go in depth on FTP. And uh, I'm going to jump back again here. I can leave this blank, and I can put anything else I want. I can put uh, IPC FTP folder if I want to obviously cannot be uh, without spaces so I'm gonna leave it share like that and I'm gonna click enable and before I click save I wanted to clear this so you can see something that's gonna happen once I hit enable the connection with the FTP is gonna happen and you will see all of this um, the FTP option or the FTP client on our DVRs are constantly going to be connected to the FTP as soon as you enable it. Now, they're currently listening constantly uh, to the F between the FTP and, in this particular case, the camera. When an event uh, happens and the camera or the DVR or the NVR has to upload this to the FTP, you will see something here. It's going to show like a little uh, arrow pointed up that means that a file has been uploaded so um, right now nothing is happening uh, I still have to configure other stuff so we already took care of the FTP the next step will be under alarm oh I actually never save it okay but the default is this what I have to do here is enable relay activation and this is very important depending on how your motion detector is uh, meaning the sensor type, if it's normally open or normally closed, this has to be uh, configured uh, as that particular motion. So this particular button, let me see, you can see here what I'm doing. I actually configure as a normally open. So in the camera itself, that's what I have to put in here. If it was normally closed, or if I wire this as a normally closed, this then has to be changed to normally closed. Right? So normally open, I wanted to send a snapshot, and I'm going to enable it, I'm going to save it. Again, nothing's going to happen. What's going to happen is, is once I press this button, and I hold it for at least a few seconds, because that's normally what a sensor will do. A button, it's different. A button is, as soon as you press it, it will uh, make the contact, and when you release it, the contact is off. In, in a sensor, you have a delay. When you wave in front of a sensor, the sensor will lit up, and it will take time for it to turn off. All right? So, okay, so pay attention to this side of the FTP and pay attention to this side of the button. So I'm going to press it. You will see something there, you see? All right, I release it. And then you can see, yeah, I already create this folder. That's the share folder that I created on the camera. And this is the path that the camera creates. And there is my snapshot. There you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another one. I'm going to go backtrack one more time. And I'm going to press the button again. 
and I can see here, there you go, that's the snapshot. So um, everything is working fine, so this is the way that you configured um, a megapixel camera with a sensor attached to one of the alarm inputs. Uh, this applies to uh, sensors that they are normally open or normally closed. If they require power, you cannot share the power between the camera and the sensor unless that is a, a 12 volt DC sensor and it's only one. You can uh, plug it in here into the positive and negative of the camera and then it will be okay. Now, remember this, if uh, this particular camera is dual voltage, so if your sensor is 12 volt and you have the camera powered up not through PoE, just uh, using the um, uh, 24 volt power adapter connected directly to the camera and you wanted to share the power between the camera and the sensor, uh, I will advise you not to do that because uh, you're going to fry the, um, the sensor or you can put a converter behind the, the, the sensor so that you can convert it after from 24 uh, volts AC to 12 volt DC. All right, I hope this is going to help you configure in uh, FTP and uh, snapshot detection based on motion. Thank you.